Hey, I'm gonna be watching uh, Castlemania. That title sounds familiar. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I think I've heard of it. Oh my goodness, I thought I was gonna be spoiled on My Little Brony, but all I saw was the picture of Fluttershy crying or something. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and watch the episode. I'm excited. I know it was leaked. That's why I thought I was gonna be spoiled. I was like, ah, should I go on My Little Brony? So I decided that if I was, like, spoiled too much, I would just stop. But I didn't. All I saw was that picture of Fluttershy crying. That was a cute face, by the way. Also, um, you know, why did I say also? I think I meant anyway. Okay, here we go. I didn't watch the leak, I promise. Here we go. And start. What's wrong, Twilight? Uh, I've gone through every book in Ponyville, Spike, and there isn't a single there we go. mention That's of better. the mysterious chest that came from the tree in Harmony, nor anything about keys to unlock it. But something tells me that opening it is pretty important. I hope Princess Celestia has some ideas. Well, library, just, doesn't have anything. I don't know where else to look. Just go look for the keys. You don't have to know what's in the box. Just open the box. My dearest Twilight, while it would be perfectly lovely to have you in Canterlot once more, I have another option in mind much closer to Ponyville. If you see a you know, key just laying around, so pick it up. I remember that place, and I thought, no, no, they fixed that bridge. I wouldn't want to go in a ruined castle. It'll crumble in on me. Wow. Look at all those rocks on the ground. It's, a veritable gold mine of information. I can't it's just gonna crumble. Oh, spider web. Oh, that was a pretty spider web. No. That thing has a star on it. It's worse than a black widow. It's a black star, uh, arachna star. Star Spider. My little pony, my little pony. So yeah, I, everything's gonna like crumble in on them. I would be scared to like just take the books out and go. <laughs> I would just take the books out, just leave. She can carry them all. I bet. So. My little pony. Any day now? Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna move. You move. Uh-uh. There is no way I'm moving. They look funny. The b the bees look funny. Okay. He looks like the male pony from uh, season two, episode fourteen. You know the one. Uh, last roundup. I'm gonna need my feedback. <laughs> but then we'll never find out who the most daring pony is. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Not my problem. Well, what he can just now? whistle and the bees go to wherever they're supposed to go. I love how they got the little suits to fit their tails. Woo! How did I see that coming? Wait, they had the suits on. Why would they be scared of the bees if they had the little suits? I wouldn't. Oh my goodness. Go into the creepy castle in the Everfree Forest. Where are they going, I wonder? Rarity, don't you think it's a little late in the day to be walking through the forest? It is Star Spider season after all. Star Spider, I said Arachnistar, I think. For a very good reason. Simply the most important reason I've ever had in my entire life. Oh, well then, how 
I need more jewels. Listen, I've heard rumors that the castle of the two sisters is filled with the most gorgeous of ancient tapestries in all of Pony history. Well, they're probably all magnificent creations. Dust now. Exactly. Where I can and sell them. <laughs> Maybe I'll even use the patterns of the inspiration for a new line. Oh, I thought she was gonna try to sell them for like a million dollars, a million bits. Yes. Well, hmm. Maybe not Why is Angel the there? Why does he have to be there? But retro ancient classical will be all the rage next season, so it's nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> Good job on that one. Yeah, it's gonna crumble on you. Of course. Don't even worry about him, Fluttershy. Actually, I don't even hate him anymore because he was nice to Spike at the end of uh, that one, number eleven of season three. They're all torn. You can't just restore those. You could do that anywhere. Why do you smile after that? Also, those things can't- you can't just restore them unless you know what they look like. Happy Hanukkah! Yesterday. Thursday was Hanukkah. For the first day, right? I don't- I, I don't know about Hanukkah. Well, here we are. Uh, what's so daring about this place? This is where we got the elements of harmony. Yes. And there's the little Granny thingy. Told me of an in the back. Legend. When Nightmare Moon was banished, not every last bit of her dark magic went with her. Granny that thing was in, like, perfect condition. On the castle, that magic takes the form Ooh. of the Pony of Shadows! You mean like a ghost? They always... <laughs> ah! The thing I just did. From, uh, Look Before You Sleep. It sure could. I mean, I guess you could sew the hole shut, but it'll be weird looking. Maybe from below. <laughs> Don't give her that look. Okay. <laughs> Rarity didn't even help. She just stood there. Oh, they're gonna hear, and then she's gonna hear them scream, and she'll be like, I heard someone scream! So they're all gonna hear each other. Wait, who's the high-pitched one? Neither of them have especially... <laughs> they scream like girls. You're just not gonna even talk about how sh the wall just flipped around? Exactly. While you were struggling under that fabric, the entire wall spun around. You must have activated a secret door. So yeah, they're all, and then they're gonna hear bells because Pinkie Pie is ringing the school bell all week. You guys are just having a pleasant little conversation. That's the picture from uh, the train. Whoever stays in the castle the longest is the most daring pony. Damn. It's gonna take a lot more than some shadowy ghost pony to get me to leave. I was gonna say I'd go to sleep. Is someone looking through that thing? It's a huge book. Angel, what are you doing here? Uh, 
Secret door, secret door, secret door. The Journal of the Two Sisters. I wonder who they are. What Princess Celestia was talking about. Oh, they're just so cute. I hope you're not afraid of the dark Applejack. I can't say that I am. But even if I was, I'd be at least 50% less scared of it than you, Rainbow Dash. I don't know how all that math works because I'm not scared at all. Me neither. So she's 50 percent less scared. What's the matter? It's just a dark hallway full of missing body, holy legs. Oh my god. Yeah. That is creepy <laughs> about that. Oh my goodness, they're adorable when they're scared. I'm starting to wonder if maybe the castle doesn't want my expertise. Oh dear. I don't no, think the castle has a mind of its own. I'm not sure he made the trip down with us, dear. Oh goodness, we have to find him. An ancient castle is no place for a bunny. So why'd you bring him? For the floor to give out under him? Oh, he could be trapped in a dark place with no way out. That just happened I to you. Imagine how that might <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Rarity. They're gonna see the light. Around me. Uh, I'm over here. The, oh, I was about to say it's a room of of legs. They don't recognize each other's voices. I thought she was gonna feel the. Yeah, I thought she was gonna feel the hoof. I love to duck behind the paintings, and though the hollow cloak still gives her a bit of a fright, the trapdoor slide is Luna's favorite. Hall of hooves? Soon the organ to the outside will be finished. Why do they have a hollow hooves? Are they fake? To the outside? I have no idea. That's like if there were just arms hanging off of a wall. Just. falling apart. That's why you need to get out of there. Okay. Shut up, Angel. That was a Angel, weird Angel, scream. Okay? They and they're destroyed. You cannot restore that sun one. Maybe the moon one. Maybe. No, you can't restore that one either. How are you gonna just you gonna add a bottom of your own? Do you think there's a single room in this castle that isn't filled with terrifying things? It's just armor. <laughs> Cats do that, Rainbow Dash. Cats do that. It's not like it's gonna come to life or anything. Oh, I wonder what's gonna happen. Aw, oh, that's a cute face, Applejack. That must be, um, I saw the dark blue hooves, that must be Luna. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. Mask. There, 
No, because there wasn't even a bottom to it to, uh, to begin with. So, well, unless that was on the floor or something. Thank you. <laughs> now you look here, Castle. You are very old and very scary. But it's not nice. Is in an atrocious state. And there is nothing you can do to keep me from my sacred task of restoration. Uh, Applejack, if you went back to Ponyville, that means I win, right? Armor's pretty heavy, that probably hurt. Aw, oh, now she's alone. <laughs> uh, that Donald Duck. Fall down the stairs. Of all the castles in Equestria, this is by far the most ungrateful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, more sticks just appeared in her hair. armor you've been looking at. Come on, oh! Applejack wins! You went out of the castle. Congratulations, Applejack. You're the most daring pony. I knew it. They're all gonna bump into each other and scream. They're gonna... Picture I saw. Oh my goodness, it's terrible. You know, probably just more strange sounds of this old castle falling apart. And tell her, Spike. No one likes sarcasm, Spike. <laughs> that was cute. That was um, that same scream that they use for rarity all the time. They don't see each other. Seriously. She looked right at Fluttershy. They're looking right at it. <laughs> she can just freeze people? Jeez. Fluttershy? What are you doing here? She's with me. Aw. How did they not see each other? Applejack looked right at Fluttershy. It's Luna. It's Luna and, uh, or Celestia. No, it was Luna. Her hooves are, I mean, her, uh, legs are, uh, blue. Dark blue. So it's not Trixie or anything. Or maybe it's a Pony of Shadows. I don't know. That'd be a good ending. Shadows. It's a Pony of Shadows and he just wants a, uh, a, a hug or something. Or attention.
to ring the school bell all week. Oh, yeah. I only had to ring it for like five minutes. They said that was good enough. Yeah, can't imagine why. So then, I decided to throw a finish ringing the school bell party. But I didn't have any blue bells. I just needed a walk. I'm going to have to come back and watch this part because I missed the whole thing. important part of the ex explanation. I heard that she had to wrap herself in a tarp or something. That she was going to carry flowers. Why do you never use thread that's the same color as the fabric? to the princess, but no Applejack won. Shadow ponies. How ridiculous is that? Don't you dare show a shadow pony. If they that they did that before. And that looked like Zakora and the thing. Okay, well, um, they did that before. They put... I'm gonna wait till this song is over. Sharing kindness is an easy thing, and magic makes it all complete! You done? Hasbro? There you go. Okay. Um... They actually did that before in My Little Pony Tales. It wasn't the same concept, and it wasn't quite as uh, entertaining. I don't know. It was a different story, but like same kind of little concept. Um, Patch told this story about this guy who was trying to fight a dragon named Basil and died. Well, they didn't say he died. He sat in, like he got stuck in a pit and couldn't get out. And that's how the story ended. So, um. Then they thought they heard something. Oh, they were having a slumber party, by the way. They they heard something in the attic. They went up to the attic to check it out, and they were like, "Oh my God, it's the dragon!" And it turned out to be their cat. And so um, they were like, "Oh, they sang a song about it. Things aren't always what they seem." I like that song. I really do. And um, they went downstairs, and they all got into their sleeping bags. And then guess what happens? The ghost comes in and is like, hey, Patch, thanks for telling my story. And she's like, no problem. And he flies up through the ceiling and that they just end the episode. I'm like, could she wake up, please? I don't know. <laughs> so, um, yeah. The, it ends with them showing an actual ghost. Except, in My Little Pony Tales, they made the ghost nice and thanks for telling my story. Uh, and in here, they just left it at, yeah, there's actually a Pony of Shadows. What? <laughs> That's out to get people. Anyway, I really like the episode. I'm going to have to watch that last part again. Because I <laughs> it caught me off guard. I had to take a little break from, from that. 
that was just, that was ridiculous. Alright, so I really, no one likes sarcasm. Please, Twilight. You're the queen of sarcasm. The prince, princess of sarcasm, that's who she is. I'll show you what I mean after the video, I guess. So, thanks for watching. I enjoyed the <laughs> I enjoyed the episode. I had to take a little walk. I just like walked around the little thing outside of my room, and I came back. I just looped around. All right. Thanks for watching. I enjoyed the episode. Spike was being especially cute. Angel, mm, he was cute. But he was being bad. Oh no! Uh, ancient ruins aren't any place for for a, a bunny. Well, why'd you bring him, Fluttershy? You should have left him home. <laughs> he felt that way, you know. So um, yeah. That's all I have to say, really. Thanks for watching. Bye. No one likes sarcasm, Spike. Twilight. It's raining. No, really. Hmm, thanks a lot for making me feel so much better. Once a month, she comes into Ponyville. Ooh. Then, she lurks by the stores. Oh, my. And then, she digs at the ground. Good gracious! Okay, I'm sorry. Hello, Patch. I wanted to thank you for telling my story. Uh, sure. Anytime. Now I must continue the search for my dragon. If ever you see Basil, let me know. Uh, you can count on me, Squire. Farewell, Patch. Thank you again. So long, Squire. Uh, who are you talking to? I was talking to... nobody. It was just a dream. Or maybe it wasn't.